One of the challenging things I've run into with some of my coaching clients is a really amazing new stress in our society and it's all around social media that they are facing challenges in their life and yet they see all of their friends that are having these amazing wonderful Facebook lives and they feel like they are the outsiders, that nobody else has any problems, that they're the only ones where, where things are falling apart. And that is such a powerful delusion. And it's a real challenge today because all of the things on Facebook that you see, all of the things you see of your friends are how wonderful things are, all these great things. And the challenging thing about this is this can actually make life even harder for those of us who are having struggles. Let's be real here. What you see on Facebook is not reality, meaning all of people's lives. It is the highlights. It's a highlight reel. And in a, in a way, it's sort of like we're in a soundbite society when it comes to news with, with little two second clips. And that's really what Facebook is. All these wonderful things that happen. And it's fantastic for sharing with family, friends, all stuff that's happening. But it is not people's entire lives. Everybody on Facebook has caca that's happening. And they're not sharing that. And trust me, I am not advocating that you share it. Please do not. That's not where we want to get into is, 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 is uh, all, all the caca. Let's just be honest about what it is. It is just a venue for people to share great stuff that's happening. And that's awesome. Realize that it's only part of their lives. And the simple way to do that is take a look at your own profile. I mean, Look at all the things you share and think back to those times. And was every moment just as rosy as that? I certainly doubt it. Uh, and if it was, well, you've really found the, uh, you know, you've really got the, uh, the life that everybody wants. I don't think that's the case. So how do you get around this? Well, first of all, if you are finding that you're looking through Facebook and Instagram and you're seeing all these um, incredible things your friends are doing and great lives that, and yet you feel like an imposter or a failure because of that, you're comparing yourself to them. Um, first thing is get off it for a month, for a couple of months, just go cold turkey and start to discover, God, there is a life outside of social media. Who would have known? Uh, second thing is reinforce your connections with your friends in real life. Uh, Leo Buscalia said that, you know, if you have one friend, one real friend that you can share everything with, you'll never need a therapist. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I know that having those friends there that you can talk to about wonderful stuff, but also vent when all the caca is happening, that is gold. You need that and a lot of people feel bad about reaching out to people when things are bad for support you know and the funny thing is these are the people that'll be there right away if you need them and yet they're terrified to to reach out because they don't want to be a burden nonsense okay if if you are doing that for others and you're not willing to do it for yourself, what you're saying is in a way, and I'm going to be brutally honest, tough love here, what you're saying is that you're better than the others, that you can help them, but you don't need that. And that's not true. We are all humans. We need help. We need to learn to reach out, even if it's one person that you can trust to reach out. And, you know, in some cases, people may not feel that they have that resource to reach out to. The, we're fortunate in our society. We have things like helplines and so on and so forth that you can reach out to, that you can get support. There's all sorts of organizations, but it starts with you. Take all that time that you're feeling guilty and bad looking at Facebook and how wonderful people are and that wonderfulness making you feel worse. 
take all of that time and instead start to reach out, whether it's to friends, to a support group, to, to um, a helpline, and get the support. We all need it. Good Lord, we take, uh, we don't think twice about doing preventive maintenance for our cars or for our bodies. We go to a physio, we go to uh, a massage therapist, so on and so forth. But when it comes down to our mind and our emotions, it seems to have this crazy stigma. There's nothing different. We're all human. We all need support. I am very grateful that I've got a wonderful web of friends that I can reach out to any time. I use that lifeline and I appreciate it incredibly. I also have a counselor and a coach on speed dial because there are times that you need something more. Make that time, take that step as much as it may seem for some people, it seems like a failure to reach out if you have to reach out. It's not. It's called being human. Welcome to the club.